It is Labor Day across the nation, and here in West Virginia, that means the annual picnic hosted by the United Mine Workers of America. Both of us were there today, and this comes at a time when we're heading into a big political season, and organized labor wants to have a voice. <laughs> To the sound of classic Appalachian music and under a blistering hot sun, members of organized labor unions and politicians gathered for the annual UMWA Labor Day picnic in Racine. One of the goals, strengthening the political cloud of unions at the ballot box. More people are paying attention. I'm more optimistic than ever about making some real changes in the 2020 election. The political cloud of the labor movement will be tested twice in 2020, in the May primary election and then the general election in November. It's been an up and down few years for West Virginia labor, losing the battle so far over making this a right to work state, but winning back to back 5% annual pay raises for striking teachers and school staff that made national headlines. We need to make sure that labor remains strong. And what our teachers and service personnel did for the last two years has brought an awareness to this country and to the, to the world. With President Trump up for re-election, a competitive race for U.S. Senate and a combative race for governor, candidates for offices down the ballot have their work cut out for them. Unfortunately, there's going to be so much money spent in these elections. We're going to have to get out in the ground and go door to door and hand to hand and meet all the voters and let them know what we really stand for. Organized labor, which mostly endorses Mountain State Democrats, promises to put money and volunteers behind its candidates. In 2016, the legislature voted, legislature rather, voted to make West Virginia a right-to-work state. A circuit judge said the law was flawed, but the case is now pending a hearing before the state Supreme Court of Appeals.